This is New Day Northwest. Now from the premiere of Blue Cross Studio, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to New Day Northwest. We are going to talk about volunteering to help train assistance dogs, the best volunteer job ever. We are also going to just have a little snack with Pam's Kitchen, a favorite of Guy Fieri. It is Trinidadian food, and you will not believe how good it is. But first up, let's go back to this volunteer opportunity that's challenging, but delightfully rewarding. Anacortes-based Summit Assistance Dogs is looking for foster families across Western Washington to take in puppies being trained for fulfilling lives, helping people who need assistance. So please welcome from Summit Assistance Dogs, philanthropic giving officer Alex Stone and professional dog trainer Lindy Langham, along with puppies in training. I gave, I gave them both a, a part of a card to play with. One is not interested, the other is like a professional shredder. This is so cool. How are you guys this morning? It's good to see Great you again. Great to see you too. We're doing really Thanks well. Thanks for coming in. Let's talk first of all, Alex, about what these dogs end up doing for people. Sure. Well, I can tell you a little bit about my dog, Frazier, who was on New Day Northwest a yes. few years ago. Yeah. Um, he was by my side for 11 years, and when I got him, my biggest dream was just to be able to live independently on the Seattle U campus. Um, but some had adopted him from a shelter when he was a year old and trained him with over 60 commands to help me. So wow. he could do like light switches, yes. automatic door buttons. He picked up everything that I dropped, carried my textbooks for me. He carried your textbooks? He's a pretty amazing guy. <laughs> and the more you guys got to know each other, the more helpful he was. But that really transformed your life, right? Oh, yeah. So not only did Frazier have this amazing skill set, but he was also a huge social lubricant for me. So people would come up to me and they'd usually approach me and ask Frazier what his name is and how old he is. And after a while, I'd break the silence and answer for Frazier. And that allowed me to show that I was a viable conversation partner. So wow. I just had this buddy that was so talented and also just drew people to me and my confidence grew. We traveled the world together. That is um, so amazing yeah. and so important and Fraser sadly has passed away. Do you have a new dog? Are you in, in route to a new dog? I'm on the waiting list and Frazier unfortunately got, had a battle with cancer that lasted about a year and a half. Yeah, so uh, when he got really sick, I asked Summit to put my application on hold because I didn't want to bring a new dog into a right. scenario where I knew I wanted to give all my attention to Frazier. Um, but I'm back on the waiting list and towards the top, okay. so maybe one of these cute puppies that you're going to see today will be you never um, know. And I, you know, I heard somebody say the other day, you know, why do dogs live such a shorter life than us? And, and somebody commented, well, people need their whole lives to learn how to love other people, but dogs already know, so they don't have to stay true. as long. <laughs> Lindy, tell us a bit about where the puppies come from and what kind of families you need to, to help foster. Yeah, so we have dogs that come from kind of all over the country. We have some that even have come from Australia, um, but we've got some locally, and we've also done, uh, had our own litter. So <laughs> we've, we've raised one of our dogs um, in studio today and um, hopefully she'll demonstrate some skills for us. Is it Irene who's going to come Irene. out in a minute? Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so the the foster family start <laughs> come back come back to me. The foster families start things out with the puppies, but they're going to give the dogs up, right? So you yep. got to be prepared to be attached, but then unattached when the time comes. Yeah, that happens. Um, so the volunteer puppy raisers are really our driving force of the program, and we really, really need them <laughs> to help us raise the dogs, and that helps us bring in more dogs to our program, which can help us place more dogs as an end result. Yes, so, just expand all the way. Yep. How we, many families do you think you need? As many as, as, many as, as many you can come. get. We really need puppy raisers. Um, so we require generally that people will come in puppies. and raise a puppy for maybe about a year or so. Okay, so and, it's that long. Yep. And is there, they're training them as they go. Correct. Okay. So we offer. Look at these dogs. They're so cute. You must have every size of vest. They each have a vest. We have lots of vests. Perfectly lots suited. of harnesses. Yeah. So let me call out Michaela, who's got Great. Irene with her and, and can kind of demonstrate some of the things that Perfect. we teach the dog, I mean, we, meaning you, yes. teach the dogs Perfect. to do. Good girl. Aww. Oops. Good girl. <laughs> Come back with me. Good girl. So they learn around all sorts of distractions, yes. right? And these dogs are Good all girl. very young still. But um, Irene is doing a fabulous job. Michaela is one of our fabulous, fabulous volunteer Irene. puppy raisers. Thank you. And Irene is from our litter, one of our litter eye dogs. 
And uh, she, so in our classes, we have three classes a week. We have one in Redmond, one in Linwood, and one in Seattle. And so we try to make it very convenient for people who want to raise puppies to come and get to a and class. So we it. can, yep, show you how to train a dog. No experience necessary. Really? So Correct. anybody can yep. learn? Do you yep. want to take her through some commands? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, one of them is a hand target. We use hand target a lot um, to kind of move it's the dog girl. around, maybe refocus the dog if they're staring at something. And um, yep, girl. good. We Good also, job. of course, teach them their name. So that would be like Irene just Irene. looking at Michaela yes, when she hears job. her name. Nice job. Good job. <laughs> oh, are these two okay? Yeah. I'll shortly if I need yes. to. <laughs> Good. <laughs> they also learn, of course, recall and uh, learning to love their crate. Mm -hmm. And we do some loose leash walking skills. So if you want to try some loose leash yeah, walking back. Ready? <laughs> okay. Let's go. Yes, good girl. Nicely good done. Turn. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Not yanking or pulling. Right. Or any good of job. That. So, how many hours would you say it takes during the week? What do you need to be ready for to be a good foster? Well, we yeah. say that whenever you're holding the leash, you are technically training. Yes. And the dog is learning. But um, our weekly classes are about a. Uh, hour long, but during the day when you have the dog, it doesn't have to be that long. It can be just two to three minutes of maybe a hand target or practicing their name or practicing loving their crate and things like that. So, so. somebody needs to be around. Yeah. This isn't a dog you're going to leave home for long periods of time. You, you want to be around. Correct. Yeah, they're going to be younger dogs. Um, and a big part of why we need volunteers too is we need um, people to socialize the dogs yeah. and get them out and about and learn positive experiences and how to go through the world um, and that the world is a happy, fun place. That's And it is. And these yeah. dogs are all pretty <laughs> calm. I, I'm getting very attached to this one, which makes me wonder about your future. You know that Irene's going to go on to help somebody. Yeah. Are you going to be able to let go? Yeah, it'll definitely be hard, especially at the beginning, but yeah. it's really rewarding to see them working with their partner after they graduate. Exactly, because it changes somebody's life, yeah. as Alex has said. So, Alex, if, there, if people can't foster a puppy, and I know a lot of people are going to want to, somebody <laughs> might be here who wants to. Anyway, um, the point is, there are other ways that you can help. Yeah, if you're not able to be home and you work during the day, we work with lots of workplaces where we bring puppies to your workplace and you can help us set up uh, scenarios that the dogs would experience in the real world and we could do like a two hour volunteer opportunity at your workplace with some adorable That's so puppies. That's cool because the dogs are, are likely to go places like that yeah. and need to help their partners. Totally. So how soon do you think you're going to have a new dog? Um, hopefully early next year. Yeah. There's lots of promising dogs in the pipeline. So. Are, do you have like maybe an inside track on any particular one? Yeah, I can put in <laughs> a word whenever I see one that looks extra feisty. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thanks, thanks for, for sharing us. Fraser with us when oh. you came before. And I'm, I'm just so glad that these guys are available. They really are our best friends. Um, if you're interested in fostering an assistance pup and training, we've posted complete details on New Day's homepage. Please think about it. It looks like it's just an amazing amount of love and fun. Up next is zany round of New Day Hot Topics with Carla Marie and Anthony from 106.1 KISS FM. We'll be back after this.